half and almost six minutes. That's why I pick Thieves Landing is because it's the fastest course. In association with the PGA Tour is From the list of courses that you are allowed to swap out. For the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Not Championship is about to begin. What is Look over here alongside major championship winner Rich Beam and Beamer. Great day ahead here. Putting it in the bunker is arguably faster on that hole. Hopefully the golf is just as glorious as the weather conditions. Not that I'm trying to, but second shot on the second. Oh, absolutely flushed. That wasn't your best effort, was it? And now that finds him in first place. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Playing from around 240 yards. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a mystery. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Trying to make a statement early and often. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Well done. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? Just to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Here we are at the sixth hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. That swing looked a little jerky from where I'm sitting. Well, they've found the bunker, but it's a chance to maybe save from there. And the putt goes down. A nice display of resilience at the end. That'll put a little pep in your step, up and down from the bunker, in for the birdie. Good job. Setting up in the first cut here. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. This is on a great line. Maybe they hit it a little harder. They currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Four left. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save part here. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. A little fast right now. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Choosing the 9-iron here. That was a bit of a miscue. Distance control not easy when you're coming out of the rough. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Well, I've got to admit, Rich, this player wasn't even on my radar at the beginning of this event. Probably not on anybody's radar. Kind of coming out of nowhere, but that's what makes this game so great, isn't it? Everybody loves a Cinderella story. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Yeah. Oh. Could have had back-to-back -back the lead now after that hole. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double... Hey, thanks. I'm not sure if the chase back... Thanks for watching. This is a, a pretty odd thing to do, so I, I really appreciate when anyone stops by. So a long putt in front of them. Currently at three under for the day. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, the move to four under par. As we head now to the par five next. That should find the sand. I might need to get a lesson of you. That was well played. Not bad. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? He's looking at around 14 foot, I said. Looking for another birdie here. That should find the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He is right on the 150-yard marker here. Tell you what, they 
got their rhythm going there. That's another green in red. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Time to play from the bunker. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Should be good enough for the birdie. Currently at minus five now for the day. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Oh, I thought that one was going in. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Yes, for par. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. A chance to chip in here for all the glory. This putt is for a score. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. Uh, they're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win. You have to get rid of the sponsorships. That's not good. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is delighted to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St. Jude Championship is about to begin. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. We're at TBC Southwind. I'm Luke Elvy alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as soon as you step foot on this property, and particularly this opening hole, you know what you're up against. It's a brute. Just 434 yards, par four for the back tees, but don't let that fool you. It's a tee shot that's back up the hill and generally back into the wind. It lines you up that was close. to the left, but the left hand side is the biggest no no. Bogies and double bogies made a bound from over there. Leave it out to the right side. Just avoid that fairway bunker if you can. Leave yourself a little bit longer second shot to a green that tilts from back to front. The bunkers that surround this green aren't overly difficult but they can certainly wreak havoc on that opening hole. Four, a great score. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. And this one is for his par. Right. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Just in front. Our leader is totally enjoying a full stroke advantage. Good shot there, Beamer. Chosen the pitching reach here. Well played, mate. And he's down there. You got a read? Straight back up this hill. Can be fun. The seventh at TPC Southwind's a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. And that's going to put him up to even par. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Three feet to go okay. here the hole. Now four shots up after that hole. Second shot here on the ninth. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Bit quick in the stroke, that looked pulled. And sits in first position. Oh, that was flushed. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Going with the six iron here. This would be a great up and down. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. So no movement right. there. He's facing with the card. The par 3 11th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. But looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Setting up in the first cut. And here we are with the third shot. 
He has this punt to save his punt. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. That's an awful error. Opting for the 9-iron. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. A bit too much pace on that one. That's pretty tight. Our leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Playing from 110 yards out. Well, good shot that, right inside the range. Ooh. And with that putt, now even par, with the final few holes to go. What a great feeling that must be. Seemingly an insurmountable lead for this player with just four to play. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? They've decided to club up. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. Currently a couple under for the round. This is quite an astonishing yeah, performance that's by not our good. leader. Their advantage now up to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Uh, I did push it, but it still wasn't enough. And here we are with their four. Wow, did this come out beautifully? Oh, they're gonna walk this one in. Uh, I survived. Wonderful victory, Rich. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff. Well, if you want to go and win the FedEx. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to begin. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam as we kick off this Tour Championship. And Rich, this player performed well enough all season to be rewarded with a modest amount of starting strokes. What are you thinking about their chances here today? They've got lots of work to make up, but still, there's plenty of time to do it, and I'm excited to see what they can produce on the week. No, I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Oh, that was pure. That a boy. Good shot. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard, with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Elevated greens are always difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Yeah, that was no good. Looking ahead, this one is currently tied for first in the field alongside Xander Shoffley. Kenny, do you have a better look at this lie? He's eyeing this up and he's pleased with what he's seeing. This is sitting nicely. This is a good chance. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And that will take him to one under. That's nicely done. This one's heading left, I think. Getting ready to play their third. He leads the field by a stroke. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Leading by a couple after that hole. All right. And he's down there, setting up here from about 145 yards. Oh, please. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. That's a great attempt from long range. So close. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. And here we are with the third shot. 
an opportunity to make a par here. It looks like he pushed that one. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. This would be a great up and down. Getting ready to play their third. This one is for both. Call it a fast bogey. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead. Yeah. Brooke Henderson following in second. All well, this rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? Sitting at plus one, currently in the lead. This putt for par here. One week picks too many, I think. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. What's in front of them, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cut. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Now, yeah, great rhythm on that swing. Second shot here on the 12. There's this one to kick right. Now, yeah, that's a common fault in putting. Pulled it slightly. Leading by the three strokes now. Oh, my. Yeah, Where's this one going, that. Henny? This is going to the pine straw. It's not too bad in there. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green. A chance to hold it. How does that save time? So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. And a par putt awaits him. Yeah, that putt would push. He's currently sitting in first place. Looks to be going with the four iron. Ah, that always looked wet, didn't it? And here we are with the third shot. Wow, what a shot. I hated that I put it in the water there. That's... Uh, that's no massive time loss. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Found the green side bunker. Looking for an up and down here. This part of about seven feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Come on, get down. That's a well played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Well, they can put their name up. Okay, that's a new record. Stars of the game. FedEx Cup champion. And I promise you that is something they're going to hang their hat on for the rest of their lives. That's one of those events that you absolutely want to win as a player. And now they've finally done it. Congratulations. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. All right, I'll probably rate then. Thanks for watching.